Today we will be discussing high creatine kinase levels in a simple and easy to understand way. Creatine kinase or CK is an enzyme found mainly in the heart, brain, and skeletal muscles. When these tissues are damaged, CK is released into the blood. Now high levels of CK can pinpoint different issues. It could be something as simple as you having exercised vigorously before the test or something more complex like a muscle disease. Sometimes even an intramuscular injection can cause a temporary spike in CK levels, it's important to rule out these simple causes first by avoiding intense exercise for a few days and then retesting. But if the CK levels are still high or if there are symptoms like muscle weakness or pain, it could indicate more serious conditions like muscular dystrophy, inflammation of the muscles, or even rhabdomyolysis, a rapid breakdown of muscle tissue. In these cases, your doctor will guide you through further testing and treatments to pinpoint the exact cause and ensure the best care. Sometimes high CK levels can signal medical emergencies. This is especially true when they are extremely high, indicating a condition like rhabdomyolysis. This is a serious situation where muscle tissue breaks down rapidly due to injury, certain medications or other causes leading to kidney damage. If you're experiencing severe muscle pain, weakness, or dark urine, and you know your CK levels are high, it's crucial to seek medical help immediately. These symptoms, combined with high CK levels, might require urgent care to prevent kidney damage and other complications. Doctors will provide immediate treatments like fluids and may address any triggering factors like medications or infections to prevent further muscle damage. When faced with high CK levels, especially if they don't decrease over time or there are other concerning symptoms, doctors will dig deeper to understand the root cause. They'll start with a thorough clinical examination looking for signs of muscle weakness or pain. Next, they might review your medication list, especially if you're on drugs like statins, which can increase CK levels. They could also suggest electromyography, EMG, to assess muscle and nerve function. If there's a suspicion of muscle disease, genetic testing or a muscle biopsy might be recommended. These tests help in diagnosing conditions like muscular dystrophy or inflammatory muscle diseases. It's a collaborative effort with input from you to decide the best course of action. Remember, understanding the cause of high CK levels is crucial in ensuring the right treatment and managing any underlying conditions effectively. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.